Derek Winchester knit six, right? So <laughs> I've walked through and I've explained how and why we should do DevNet Associate. I explained the path where what I see in the future as far as development goes, but what I haven't done a good job with was telling you guys how to get started, right? So let's, let's do this, right? So first of all, I wanna tell you guys that being a developer, a developer is not a skill set. It's a mindset, right? And, and like many of these mindsets, uh, it, you don't focus on the tools. You focus on how to use the tools. So don't focus on learning Python and what have you. Focus on what to do with them, right? So automation, how do we start this journey, right? Low hanging fruit, right? So right now, you guys already passed your DevNet Associate and you're saying, what do I do with this piece of paper, this certificate? And I'm gonna show you, right? So most of your environments, you already have an ITSM solution in place, right? Uh, for today, I'm gonna just talk about ServiceNow. I'm not endorsing ServiceNow, but I'm gonna tell you that uh, if you do have it, uh, I find ServiceNow to be very easy, right? So it took me less than an hour, really, to go up in a sandbox, to register, and to, to get me my own developing environment, right? So that's number one. But why? Why ServiceNow? Because I'm going to tell you, most of your organizations, that's where your automation data is coming from, right? You go ahead and you query your tickets and you can see uh, in your organization where the problem spots are, where the jobs or the tickets that you hate resolving. Let's knock them out, right? Um, but first and foremost, for this portion, for, for this session, I want to focus on what many of you hate doing, okay? And that's creating tickets and populating tickets, right? So for this exercise, I have ServiceNow integrated with Ansible Tower, okay? Um, Ansible Tower is an automation tool um, out there in the market. Um, you know, obviously, if you're a DevNet associate, you should already know. And obviously, if you've been following me, you should already know what Ansible does. But in this aspect, I'm showing you Ansible Tower, right? So uh, ServiceNow and Ansible Tower, right? Um, your organization. Average engineer, okay, in your organization, uh, let's say, how many drive-bys do you get? People say, hey, look, can you check on this? Can you do this? And like many folks, you don't populate that ticket. You don't create that ticket. So um, you're going back maybe, you know, two years from now, and you're saying, hey, I need to replace that switch, right? And you look and you say, man, I don't have any tickets showing that switch ever had any issues. If only you took five minutes, right, to, to create a ticket. Well, I'm gonna show you how to create a ticket in a second and have that ticket automatically populate, right, with your switch, your network device, what have you, information, right? Why? So number one, someone drives by and say, hey, look, Derek, look, take a look at this issue for me. Say, look, man, I'm too busy, right? Um, you say, look, let me go ahead and open the case. Let me get current state information on that switch or that device, uh, and I'll look at it later. What you have done is you created a documentation of that switch, current state, so that in the future or, or whenever you resolve this issue, you can look back and see what exactly was in there. Now, mind you, I'm giving you a demo kind of philosophy on, on what I'm putting here, but you guys are smart, right? We can use what I'm showing you today and automatically resolve issues. Put logic in those steps, right, to automatically res resolve issues. But what I'm doing for you today is showing you how to create a ticket in seconds, populating with information. So come on and join me, right? Look at my lab set up, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you and get started, right? I like to start off showing you CML because like many lab environments, CML is where all of my network equipment lie. Um, in this case, I'm using NXOS, right? So all the information that's gonna be populated is from this switch, okay? So every good setup should have a good lab right so service now so <laughs> this is what i use to uh to set up my developer instance right so i logged in and to be perfectly honest with you um i don't know everything about service now but it has been quite easy to set up and to get working okay so i'm starting my my lab my demo from the rear right so i want you to see the tickets that i'm creating okay so here are my tickets that I'm creating. I'm not parsing the data. Obviously, for you great engineers, you're gonna to wanna to learn how to parse the data a little bit better than, than what I'm doing, okay? But, you know, I am doing test cases here, right? So we can pick any one of these up. Uh, reported slowness, right? This is a ticket that I created, right? Automatically created, if, if you will, right? 
And in here, we look at the notes, and this ticket was actually created in a couple seconds, right? And I'm gonna show you how I did it, right? But going through and looking at the ticket information, automatically, as soon as I create this ticket, it went in and it pulled my chauffeur, right? It also went in and it pulled my configuration, but more importantly, it pulled my logging information, right? Why did I choose these three, right? I could have put more in here, but as a quick example, right, if you will, I tried to come up with three things I asked people to, to put in cases to understand what the current state of that device was, right? If there's any recent changes, right? Um, what's the current state? You know, I, I can get that from the logging, right? Um, so for right now, for this purpose, this ticket is populated with all the information I would need, right, to look at what it, a problem is, right? And that's, and that's what we do here. Um, next, let's take a look at Ansible Tower. Here's Ansible Tower. Um, looking at Ansible Tower, it's graphical, you know, it's different than what I've showed you before, you know, real Ansible, but it's very, very easy and similar, right? So I'm going to look at my playbook just like I would in any other playbook, and I'm looking here and what this playbook is doing, and as you can see, I'm creating a ticket with notes, right? So um, obviously this is a little bit more advanced than, than most of you have had dealt with as far as Ansible playbooks because of the fact that what this is going to do is going to actually start creating my ticket and then go log in to network device devices, pull that information, and populate that ticket, right? So here's my playbook for doing such. Let's take a look at Ansible Tower itself, right? So in Ansible Tower, you have that dashboard, but you also have the jobs, right? Um, in the jobs, you can see this is the job that I, uh, I well, my last ran. Um, and let's see what, how this job looks, right? So in this job, I just went in, pulled the configuration. Um, looks like any other logs, uh, detailed logging from Ansible Playbook. And at the end of the day, <laughs> I just created a ticket. Now, I'm showing you reverse, but I'm going to show you how I created a ticket uh, in a few, right? So just a quick overview of uh, Ansible Tower, right? There's a template. These are job templates I create. Uh, these are the variables that I populate in my template right here. This is what I call my device, but I could have easily uh, put this in a variable uh, in my API, which I didn't, but you guys are going to want to do that, right? So, um, you know, I'm showing you how I created this demo, but uh, obviously you guys are going to take other liberties, right? Do when you create it. You guys are going to do smarter than what I did, right? So um, here is my template. Here's my job template. And obviously, when you run Ansible Tower, right, you're starting off with the project, right? So uh, I'm not here to show you Ansible Tower, but I'm here to tell you that don't be afraid of Ansible Tower, okay? If you know Ansible, you know Ansible Tower, okay? Next, let's look at how I'm going to create a ticket. And I promised you in seconds, didn't I? So let's take a look at that. Postman. Let me tell you. Postman is a tool to submit APIs. Okay, as simple as that, right? And in place of Postman, and obviously if you guys know, uh, Postman, you guys also know that you guys can um, use Postman to create your own code and things of that nature. But without even going there, you guys know Postman. You guys know that here you put your API in and your payload in. And my payload, I am just sending what I want this ticket to to look like right so let me go ahead and say uh issues reported to derek let me capitalize my own last name man, my own name derek uh uh at library i don't know i'm just making up a scenario here's the topic of my ticket right now obviously i put all my authentication information within that ticket right within the header right um Here's my header information. Um, so there are things you got to do, but obviously at this point, you guys know Postman, so I'm not going to go through explain, right? But here's my payload right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and submit this job, right? Seconds. Seconds. So creating this ticket. This ticket's created. This is job number 31. There were no ignored fields. Uh, when you have variables up here that it doesn't understand, it will just ignore them. Right, so there's no ignore fields, and obviously, all this stuff right here 
it's from ticket population and from my uh, module for ServiceNow um, uh, in my Ansible, uh, in Ansible Tower, right? So here's all my information right here that I get back. It shows me that, <laughs> that something was done, right? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and let me reverse engineer this thing. Let's, let's go back and let's step through and see what Ansible Tower looks like, right? So Ansible Tower, what does that job look like in Ansible Tower? Now I created that in seconds, right? I initiated that, all the information in seconds. Let's take a look at my job right here. Okay, everything's been done. Um, looks successful, <laughs> you all right? So let me go back to start. Let's see what uh, service down looks like, okay? So let me go ahead and find my ticket. Issues reported by Derek at the library. Let's go into this ticket right here. And look at this. Formatted with all the ticket information of this device, right? Of my Nexus switch, okay? Again, this is a demo. I hope you're impressed. So what did we just talk about? We talked about ServiceNow, we talked about Ansible Tower, and we talked about ticket creation, okay? Last but not least, in order to summarize this, I want you guys to understand something, okay? Skill sets are changing. Don't chase people, right? If you're looking for a point in your career to reinvent yourself, reinvent yourself to be yourself. Being a developer means not being him, him, or her. Being a developer means bringing the best part about yourself out, right, with the tools that you're using. Learn how to create solutions and not find solutions, right? So if you're at the point in your career where you want to find new skills to, to better yourself or you're trying to start and get a foothold, right? Remember that the stuff that I'm showing you is yours. Use it to the best of your ability and put your character into it. And let's go change the world and make some automation solutions. All right, talk to you later. Bye guys.